The final three slides are focused on how we quantify the amount of a substance. The two presented here are the molar concentration and the molality, which will both appear in the course. The molar concentration is the amount of a substance in moles per volume of solution. Note that the solution includes both the solute and the solvent. The molality is the amount of a substance in moles per mass of solvent. Molality is a more constant measure of concentration when there are changes in temperature involved in a process. When the temperature changes, the mass of a substance changes very little. However, the volume of a substance can change dramatically with temperature changes, which will affect the molar concentration much more. Another way to quantify the amount of a substance is to express it using its mole fraction. This is the fraction of the moles of a given substance relative to the total number of moles in the mixture. So here's a quick example of which includes molality and mole fraction. And so in this example, what we're trying to calculate is the mole fraction of glucose that's inside a solution of glucose in water, where we note that the units here are given to us in terms of molality. We have 1 or 0.14 moles per kilogram of water of glucose inside our solution. So the first thing that we're going to recognize is that we have one kilogram of H2O, and inside that we have 0 0.140 moles of glucose. And so when we calculate the mole fraction, then what we're doing is we're relating then the number of moles of this one kilo of H2O to this 0 0.14 moles of glucose. So part of our solution is already done. We already know if we're going to be calculating our mole fraction, our mole fraction of glucose. Well, we know already that we have the number of moles of glucose, and that's going to be on top, and that's just going to be 0 0.14. So the only thing we need to calculate is total moles to be able to finish this calculation. So let's calculate the number of moles of water that we have in our system. So we know that we have one kilogram of water, and inside one kilogram of water we have 1,000 grams. We know that the molar mass of water is 18.02 grams for every one mole of water. And so if we do this multiplication, then what we're left with is 55.49 grams, or sorry, 49 moles of water in one kilogram of water. So now we know, or now we can easily calculate the total number of moles. X of, or the mole fraction of C6H12O6 in our solution. We still have 0 0.14 moles on top. And on the bottom, what we have is 55.49 plus 0 0.140. So again, we have the total number of moles of the water and the total number of moles of the glucose. So this is total moles on the bottom. And on top, we have the number of moles of glucose, because we're trying to find the mole fraction of glucose in the total solution. And so if we do, or if we solve for this, what we end up with is 2.52 times 10 to the minus 3. Note that there are no units with this because I'm dividing moles by moles, and so in the end I get a unitless quantity. The final quantification of a given substance we will cover utilizing its amount in moles is the molar volume. This is the volume a substance occupies per mole of molecules. The table on the bottom left shows a list of gases with their molar volumes at standard ambient temperature and pressure being 298.15 degrees Kelvin and one bar. Notice that many of them are 24.8 liters per mole, with a couple of exceptions. For example, argon has a molar volume of 24.4, and carbon dioxide has a molar volume of 24.6. We will discuss these differences later. For now, it's okay to simply note what the molar volume is, and that many gases have similar molar volumes.
This course will help you understand the macroscopic world around you in relation to the chemistry and physics present in everyday life. In this preparation lecture, we discussed my goals, expectations, and teaching philosophy for the course. Keep in mind that you will get out of this what you put into it, so apply yourself in order to get your maximum benefit. We also define key concepts such as work, pressure, heat, and temperature, as well as how substances are quantified using measures of concentration and mole fraction. Please read the syllabus for more information on the specifics of the course, and watch the calculus-related material in order to be fully prepared for the preparation assignment.